Okay, so this is everything that I got at Dollar Tree, which is actually 100%. You will not spend more than a dollar on anything you find there. And this is just um, to show you, it is $1 no matter what the item is. So all of this cost me $43.30. Um, so let's go through this real quick. Um, a lot of this stuff is for diamond painting. There were a couple of items I got that are not. I just wanted to show you. These are like little cute press-on nails um, because I have really bad luck with my fingernails. So I thought for a buck, you know, why not? And then wax melts. You can spend um, 2 to $5 on these at any other store. So just thought that was kind of cool. So I picked those up. Okay, and then this is I'm going to make an intro, and this is going to be part of that intro, um, intro to my videos. It's just a sticker. I thought it was really cute, and it goes really well with the um, whole diamond painting thing. So I picked that up. Okay, um, this is a little storage drawer. These pull out, and um, I'm going to have this on my desk. This is where I'm going to keep all of my extra baggies so that if I um, have extra drills left over, I can put them in here, or um, any tools or anything that I need to, I can put them in here, and it takes up less room on my desk than something larger. So I got that. Um, and I got super glue, because you can always use super glue. Um, I use this for making my custom um, drill pins. So if I want to take a drill pin, like this one came originally with a wax um, end on this, a wax tip on this end, and I didn't like that. So I took it off and I put a six placer on here and I used super glue um, to make that stick so that it wouldn't wiggle around. So that's what I use that for. Then, um, of course, the tape. This uh, 99 cent only store is another place where you can get some really cool tapes. Um, I got both of these for a dollar. And like I said, I use um, just clear masking tape. Uh, sorry, clear um, tape tape for my edges. So I got this um, just to show you. Um, it comes in the six packs. And I use that clear tape for all kinds of other things. So it really does come in handy. Okay, so let me show you some of the storage options that I found at the dollar store. Um, I found these jars. They are three for a dollar, so they are a little bit expensive as far as storage goes. Excuse the sound. I apologize. Um, but these are pretty cool because they screw on. And they don't, um, a lot of the screw on containers seem to have had an issue with just the lids popping off, but this seems to be really, really sturdy. So if you wanted screw on lids, um, this would be the one that I would recommend. Then I found this in their um, medicine area, and it is a lot like the larger kitting um, setup that you see in a lot of the videos. It opens up and then each one of these are separate and each one of these um, opens up. So this would be really good for your smaller kits. Um, the footprint on this is just so small. This would also be um, good for traveling and things like that. I do know that the printing that's on here can easily be scra um, scratched off. So I would scratch all of this off and then I would use labels to label these for my um, drills that I put in there. So I got that. Um, I found these towards the end of my trip. I walked around the whole store, in and out all of the aisles um, just to see what kind of goodies I could find that I could show you. And these are, there's a package of six that are these larger size, and then eight 
that are this smaller size. So if you wanted to um, use these, they are flip off lids, but it's a really tight seal. So um, just, I think that this is gonna be a good option if you wanted to do the, um, the flip off lids. Some of the containers, um, the lids are very, like this one is not on there very well. And there's also another one. I got this also at the Dollar Tree, a pack of 10 um, for a dollar. These I recommend way, 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 way over the condiment um, containers, which are also 10 for a dollar, but they're very, very flimsy and they break very, the lids break real easily. So I would not recommend those at all. Um, just go ahead and get these. They're um, more steady, uh, sturdy. So I picked up both of these uh, just to show you that those are there. And those are the container options that I found. And um, some other things that I found, this is wax paper and parchment paper. I'm gonna do a video to show you the difference of using parchment paper versus a wax paper on your canvases. And not all parchment or wax papers are created equal. So you might find one that sticks really bad to your canvas and one that doesn't stick at all. So um, my number one uh, recommendation for using anything other than what comes on your canvas already is test, test, test. Um, just do a little corner to make sure that when you pull it up, it comes up nice and easy and doesn't stick. So I got those, I expect a video demonstrating how those work. This is um, a booster. It's kind of like the gain booster that I've seen on another lady's video. I will link that video down in the um, description box below. I don't remember who it is right now, so I will have to look that up later. I apologize. But these, um, you just can pop in one um, in each of your bead um, containers so that it takes the static out. And I like these much better than the um, dryer sheets just because I'm a visual kind of person and I think these look better than the dryer sheets. Um, but do be aware that these are extremely fragrant because actually what they do is they boost the fragrance in the, um, the dryer sheets. So if you have um, a sensitivity to scent then beware that these are really, really, really smelly. Um, I found today that they are starting to sell Mosh Posh at, um, I'm sorry about that, Claire. They are starting to sell Mosh Posh. It is a very small container, but um, this is a pretty good uh, deal if all you need is a little bit of Mosh Posh for um, binding your diamond painting to your foam board or whatever you need to do with it. I had not seen this before, so um, I wanted to show you guys that they do have that. Um, they also have this tacky glue. Let's see. Um, this is not the tack and retack that a lot of people use to fix their canvases. So if you go and you see this, it is by the same person, uh, same company. And it's almost the same wording on the uh, label, but this is not what you are looking for um, to fix your canvases. This glue, once it dries, it stays dry. And um, I don't know, I don't know if I like it. So maybe that's why I'm advising um, to be very careful if you buy this one versus the other one. But it's only a dollar, so I really can't complain. This is uh, sticky Velcro. It's sticky on one side and then um, Velcro on the other. I use these. There are certain areas in my front hallway where I hang up um, seasonal or holiday diamond art. And I figured if I did this, then I could put the uh, one side on the wall and then the other side on the back of my images. And that way I can switch them out. Uh, throughout the seasons or the holidays. And this is a really expensive, inexpensive way to do that. Um, I would probably cut these, each one in half, 
because um, my diamond art does not weigh a whole lot, so I wouldn't need a whole lot of the adhes uh, the Velcro to keep it up on the wall. Okay, so this is an option of what I'm going to do with my trash drills. Um, this is, I've only done two, uh, let's see, five paintings so far, and this is all the trash I have. So I really cannot complain about how much trash I've had, but um, because I am starting at the beginning of this addiction, I expect to have a whole lot of trash. So what I'm gonna do is dump these in here, and as this gets full, um, then this will end up being full of a lot of different colors. And then I bought these white flowers um, that I'm going to cut down and put into this jar. And these will be held up by all of the drills that are in there. So um, that's what I'm going to do with my trash drills. It, it's also an idea of what you can do with if you've got a bunch of uh, extra drills that you are not planning on using, then you could like layer, you know, different colors um, and make that a really pretty design. I've also thought about, because this has a heart on it, um, in clear, and the rest is frosted, I had thought about putting my uh, trash drills in here and then using some of my extra drills to either outline or to fill in the heart completely with some adhesive on this um, to make this a nice, cute, embellished jar. Um, I might be doing a video on this later once I get enough beads, so keep an eye out for that. Just a, a little cheap idea of what to do with your trash drills um, to reuse them instead of just throwing them away. I think as you get to know me, you'll realize that I am all about recycling or reusing as much stuff as I can. I don't like throwing anything away. So if there is a way to recycle, reuse, or um, gift or something like that, donate it, then I will opt for that over throwing it away any day. So the next thing that I will show you is this is a com composition that would be a dollar. This would be a cheaper way to do that inventory of all of your drill canvases. And I will do another video showing all of the different binder options and things like that. But I just wanted to include this in my um, Dollar Tree haul because I got it today. And then I got these. It is 500 of these little arrow um, tabs. They're like little sticky notes. And what I do with these is I put them on the pages of any um, canvases that I've ordered that I have not yet received so that when I receive them, I can pull the note out and um, just have a very quick visual of how many canvases I am still waiting to arrive. Okay, and all of these are different options for hanging up my um, canvas storage. So that is the work in progress, the um, undone, untouched canvases that are waiting to be dealt with, and then ones that are completed that have not yet been framed. Um, they all go into the same system, which is the foam board, which I got at the dollar store uh, for a dollar a piece. And this is really nice, um, thick, foam board. You can either get black or white. I like black um, simply because it's my favorite color. I think it's very elegant and mysterious. So uh, I stick with black as often as I can. But these are different options on how to hang those up. First, um, you I use four or six of these clippies and I do two clips on the bottom two clips on the side, and then two clips on the top. And that's just to sandwich the two foam board boards together with the diamond paintings in between. And then this is an over the door hanger. I had to buy two of them because they come one per pack. So that's $2 for these. But you would hang one side of the painting on this one and the other side of the painting uh, packet on this side. And then this, 
is a really good option if you wanted to hang them in your closet. You can put this over your closet uh, rod and then you can put this um, over your um, binders. And let me take you down real quick. I will show you what I'm talking about. So that is um, my first set, the completed canvases. I have them hanging on hooks that are screwed into my door. Um, but you can also expect a video on how to put that together. So there are a lot of videos that will be coming your way. Um, I hope that you come back and check those out. Um, before I finish, I got this pink Sharpie. As you saw a second ago, I used a silver on my completed canvases. I'm planning on using pink for my um, non-completed ones that are waiting to be uh, worked on, and then probably a combination of the silver and the pink for my works in progress. Okay, that is a long enough video, I do believe. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for stopping in, and I hope you can take some of my ideas and make them your own or copy them completely, whatever makes you happy. All right, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.